Thank you, sir. You're very welcome. Oh, you are quite a swimmer. I used to be. I haven't swum distance in a long time. Well, that's amazing. In school, I was definitely headed for the Olympics. Really? <laughs> in my dreams. Who would have thought back then that someday swimming might help me get off a deserted island? Ah. Uh, swimming or your dreams? My money is on swimming. Well, you know, I really hope you don't plan to breaststroke back to civilization. I don't plan on it. What is today? Today? Uh, it's Thursday, I think. Why? I've lost track. That is the weirdest feeling. And the days seem shorter now than when I first got here. Mm. But it's still warm, like summer. I, I know that we are on an island somewhere in the Mediterranean. And... What is going on in that relentless mind? I think I just figured out a way we can use that supply boat. Oh! You better prepare yourself again, because now I have definitely figured out a way off this island. So we can watch the supply boat coming and going from up here, and once we know its schedule, all we have to do is lie in wait at the dock, and while Helena's guards are busy unloading the boat, we can hop on board and take off. I... I hate to disappoint you, but Helena has guards whose sole duty is to watch for trouble while the boat is being unloaded. So you think this is hopeless? No, oh, absolutely not. But I think we'll have to create a diversion to draw them away. I was so sure you were going to try to talk me out of that. I know. You think I don't want to get off the island. I just think you want to do it your own way. And granted, you have much more experience in trying to escape from Helena than I do. True. You know, the first time I tried, I was seven years old. Did you make it? Yes. After weeks of planning, drawing a map, storing up food, in the end, I made it... I made it all the way to the other side of that island and back without my mother even noticing I was gone. So, basically, we're just doing a reenactment of your very weird childhood. <laughs> I didn't mean to make fun of your childhood. I can't imagine how terrible that must have been, mm. growing up with Helena for a mother. No. You know, actually, Helena was the ideal mother. To my brother Stavros. I, I don't ever remember my mother kissing me. Well, once. The night she... The night she drugged me. Why was Helena so neglectful of you, do you know? I have no idea. Yeah, perhaps because we're so much alike. I don't see that resemblance at all. You don't know me very well. I know a lot about you from your sister. Alexis is my best friend, and I know how deeply she loves you. And I know that she and Nicholas could not care that much about you if you were anything like Helena. I appreciate that. I only hope you don't change your opinion of me as you get to know me better. Yeah, well, we'll see. You know, the most... Uh, the most difficult thing about being trapped on this island is knowing that Helena is endangering you in her efforts to... to get at me. No, 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 I'm not worried about it. I think Helena is no match for the two of us. And we are going to get off this island, and then we are going to make her pay for kidnapping us. Well, it's getting late. Shall we go back to the house? You go back to the house. I'm actually going to check out the area around the dock again. I want you to be careful. The guards get suspicious when they don't know where we are. Yeah, I'm sure you can figure out a way to cover for me. Listen, I want you to wear this. It's, uh... Thanks. It's getting a little bit cooler now. You're right. It is a little chilly. I won't be long. I saw Ms. Morgan leave. Yes, you did. 
The next time the supply boat docks, Miss Morgan and I will steal it. It will be your job to make sure that we're caught. Thank you.